It's Drew from Alzo Digital, and welcome to the Alzo Digital Seminar, The Principles of Jewelry and Small Object Photography. This seminar is about the most challenging type of photography, shooting very small objects, and in many cases, we're talking about highly reflective, very small objects. In this seminar, we will discuss four important issues. First, we'll talk about camera selection, then required camera accessories, then preferred lighting equipment, and finally, helpful techniques. Our first topic is camera selection. Digital cameras can be classified into three categories. There's the point and shoot, the SLR, and then there's the elusive fixed lens SLR style camera. A point and shoot like this Panasonic is a small camera with limited manual controls and most likely does not include a viewfinder. These cameras frequently include a macro capable lens, but have limited use in small object photography as they lack important features that we will discuss later. DSLR cameras like this Canon are very capable machines for jewelry photography when a macro capable telephoto lens is attached. And an alternative to the high cost of the DSLR is the fixed lens SLR style camera like this Fuji model. Now let's discuss the camera attributes that are important to small object and jewelry photography. There are four requirements of a suitable camera for small object photography as follows. A lens filter thread, very small aperture lens setting, manual focus control, and manual aperture control. A camera lens must have a filter thread on the front of the lens in order to accept a close-up filter and we will discuss this in more detail later. The camera lens must allow for very small apertures like f11 or smaller, and this feature is necessary for maximum depth of field or depth of focus. In other words, the ability of the lens to have the object entirely in focus. Because focus control is critical in small object photography, manual focus control is essential as autofocus will not function correctly. Also, manual aperture control is essential to allow the specific selection of a very small aperture. All four of these requirements are typically not available in a point and shoot camera and are common in a DSLR with a quality macro zoom lens. What is a macro zoom, you ask? Well, a macro is the ability of a lens to shift to a close focus mode and is essential in small object photography. The class of digital camera we call the fixed lens SLR style camera has all of the important features of a DSLR required for small object photography, but does not have interchangeable lenses. Most of these style cameras have manual focus, but if the camera lacks a mechanical focus control ring like this one, you may have difficulty obtaining critical focus. Some of you have asked us if the lens included with your DSLR camera is suitable for jewelry photography. And in most cases, the answer is no. A DSLR kit lens does not have sufficient zoom magnification. Your DSLR should have a minimum 135 millimeter fully extended zoom and a longer zoom is even better. In summary, we recommend a DSLR with a long zoom lens or a fixed lens SLR style camera for small object jewelry photography. If you're constrained by a small budget, a fixed lens SLR style camera can be purchased for around $500 and provides all of the essential features that were discussed. Now let's discuss the required camera accessories for small object and jewelry photography. There are two essential accessories and they are a tripod and either a close-up lens or a lens set. There are hundreds of tripods on the market and they feature either a pan head or a ball head. Almost any tripod will provide the support needed, but we recommend a ball head as it is easier and faster to adjust the camera position. Remember, you get what you pay for. So a very cheap tripod will typically be a piece of junk. 
So plan on spending at least $30 on a quality tripod and spend more if you can afford it. The other essential accessory is the close-up lens or lens set. A close-up lens, often referred to as a close-up filter, is a magnifier that attaches to the filter thread on the front of the camera lens. This lens accessory is very important because it allows a telephoto lens to magnify small objects while maintaining a good working distance between the front of the lens and the object. This essentially converts the telephoto lens into a powerful magnifier required for very small objects like jewelry.